we're going to focus on these four macromolecules because they have to do with energy. They have to do with reproduction as well. And those are the two, one, two of the six requirements to life. So what are the four major mo macromolecules we're going to talk about? They are carbohydrates. You often hear that as carb, right? When somebody say carb, you're like, oh, eating bread, eating rice, eating bean, eating uh, high carb content, right? We often think of that as carbohydrate. Lipids. You hear lipids, think of fat, oil, right? protein, think of meat cheese, eggs, fish, meaty stuff. And then when you hear nucleic acid, think of DNA, genetic information, genetic material. Make sense? So that kind of summarizes a little bit of the four macromolecules that we're going to talk about. All right, moving on. <clears throat> so before we talk about um, each of the macromolecules, we need to understand some of the vocab, all right? These are also on your, these two are also on your vocab list. The first word is monomer. Mono, if you remember them from your root word, means one. A monomer means small organic molecule. The smallest thing, the making up a bigger thing. I often compare it to like a brick. A brick to a building. The brick is what we call the monomer. Make sense? It's the smallest thing that make up the bigger thing. Or a cell to an organism, right? A polymer, on the other hand, poly mean many. That mean many of the monomer put together, many of the brick put together will give you a wall. Not a building yet, a wall, right? Multiple bricks or monomer and when you have multiple wall you get a, what we call a polymers you get a macro molecule and that's what we're looking at macro mean large giant macro molecule mean giant molecule think of like a build all right so summarize really quick monomer mean the smallest thing a brick polymer mean many of these brick put together to make like a wall and when many wall create a macro molecule a large molecule that are made up of many polymers and numerous monomer okay so uh second respond what's another example of monomer polymer macro molecule relationship that you can think of uh, a puppy right Baby, yeah, your baby, baby, small teenager, kid teenager. Okay, uh, a rock, you're right. Are you getting somewhere, right? Could be a rock and then what? <clears throat> Could be a rock, pebble, rock, and maybe a, let's see, a boulder, okay. It could be a mountain, right? In biology, organic simply mean molecule that made with carbon and found in all living things. Some of you guys didn't mention that already, right? Anything that may have carbon and found all living thing, we consider that organic. But in the industrial world where, uh, in the commercial world where we sell things, people have converted the word organic into something expensive, healthy, expensive. So then that way to, pull, to make people buy more. You gotta remember that advertisement with the whole hand fingers on the band-aid, Right? People will be commercialized this word now. But in the biology world, organic just simply means they contain carbon. And carbon is one of the element, atom. If you are a freshman, you learn that in middle school, carbon, element. And they found living things, then they are organic. Carbohydrate, lipids, protein, and nucleic acid all containing carbon and all are found in living things. So these macromolecules are technically are organic. And this is how they are alike from each other. They are similar to each other because they are organic. Okay? So keep in mind. <clears throat> so how are these macromolecules different from each other? Well, they are different by periodic elements, like they are made of different elements. 
the name for the monomers are different, like the brick that build up these macromolecules, this giant building, are different, and their jobs are different. The way they are used for our body are different. So that's how they are different. Okay. So uh, let's take a look at the first thing: carbohydrate. Carbohydrate. Remember, we said carbohydrate or carb, right? You often hear carb, like bread, muffin, pasta, rice, beans, things that are high on carb. So, what elements made of carbohydrate? They are made of carbon, again, because they are organic, because they contain carbon. Hydrogen, oxygen. They are in a two to one to two to one ratio. What does that mean? That means every carbon you find will always have two hydrogen and one oxygen. Uh, and then the monomer for carbohydrate, what we call monosaccharide. Mono mean one, saccar in your root word, if you remember, means sugar. It means one sugar change, one symbol sugar, like glucose. You hopefully you heard that word, sugar. Okay. This is a glucose monomer. Uh, all the food that you guys eat that go into your body are then broken down into sugar. I mean all the carbohydrate, my bad. It will become glucose, sugar. And we need sugar to make energy, immediate energy for all living things, right? So a job for carbohydrate is to give you an immediate energy. And it also for structural component in your in plants like cell wall and so on. But carbohydrate are very important, especially for people that work during the day, right? When you wake up, most of the time, what? People feed you breakfast or muffin, bread, rice, bean, things that all have high carbohydrate. And that's because they contain a lot of sugar, glucose, which are then convert for immediate energy. Energy that you will be using to help you produce the energy for that day for you to do work, all right? Moving on, uh, lipids. The next thing we're gonna talk about, the next macromolecule is what we call lipids. What are lipids? They're just fats, oil or waxes. This is an example of lipids. What element make up lipids? Carbon, again, because they are organic hydrogen and oxygen but you will see mostly carbon and hydrogen so that's the difference it doesn't have a one to two to one ratio like we said earlier right here in lipids is mostly carbon and hydrogen okay. what is the monomer what is the little brick the little thing that lego that fill up the fatty the lipids is what we call glycerol and fatty acid. Okay, what is the job of lipids or fat? Energy storage, fats, right? And this is why when we eat too much carb or energy, and we don't use it up, it become fat. And fat or energy storage, it store the energy, right? For us to burn off the fat, we gotta do work. So that way, it pull out those fat to convert them into energy. So when you eat too much carb, right? We have her carb diet, right? When you eat too much carb, those extra energy from carb are then convert to fats. So that makes sense about dieting, right? <clears throat> it also is used for structural component of a cell membrane. We'll talk about the cell membrane later on, like phospholipid, okay? Protein, what element make a protein? You also have carbon because it's organic hydrogen and oxygen and you have nitrogen so this is a new element right here and this is what make protein when we say protein think of uh, steak meat fish dairy stuff cheese those contain protein but a lot of protein right they also contain carb they also contain lipids but they contain primarily protein uh, the monomer, the little thing that build up a big protein, is called amino acid. What is the job? Protein has many jobs in our body. It controls the rate of chemical reaction in our body. It tells us how things move fast or slow. It helps us build bone and muscle. That's why people take protein shake. 
It also transport thing in and out of the cell. It also fight diseases. Example, enzyme, antibody, right? Hormone. You probably hear the word antibody a lot now because of COVID, right? There are antibody treatments, right? And we'll talk more about them. But that these are the start, the function of a protein. Let's finish this. And the last macromolecule is what we call nucleic acid or DNA RNA. This is not something we can eat more or less. This is something in us already. This is our genetic information. This has to do with reproduction. One of the requirement, one of the requirement to life, right? Again, it also contain carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, and it contain a new element called phosphorus. Phosphorus. All right. Uh, what is the job? Well, what is the monomer, the structural structure that build up the, uh, the nucleic acid? That will be nucleotide. It's like the little brick that you put together to build up this giant structure called nucleic acid, like DNA and RNA. We call that nucleotide. This is one nucleotide. What is the job? Well, we just said it, right? It store and transmit genetic information from one generation to the next. It is the master plan or the blueprint to build protein. Remember, protein is for growth. How do you grow? How do you grow? What type of person you grow into? How many finger you have? Do you have freckle? Do you have blue eye, uh, brown eye, light skin, dark skin? And that all determined by protein. And how do you know what protein to make? And that is from the blueprint of nucleic acid. And again, when you put all these things together, all these macromolecules and including your nucleic acid DNA, it make up you, right? And make up you different person, different personality, right? Some of you guys are like a uh, little uh, dangerous. Some of you guys are a little like humorous. Some of you guys are too smart for yourself, right? So, what a macromolecule? Macromolecule are organic, and it's what we call making up all the living things, and it contains carbon. So, uh, hopefully, you got a chance, right? Write out the summary. Uh, some people ask about um, writing down, uh, annotating the note. When you annotate note, please get the PDF version, okay, on Canvas and annotate. Do not use the um, Paradeck version because uh, it, it is not, you can't really annotate. 